right, everybody, welcome back. We are in the month of December already. That is absolutely incredible. We just finished a fairly busy hurricane season with some very significant storms, but you don't see this every day. Hurricane facts, how many storms have formed in the month of December? Now, there's a reason I'm bringing you this information, and that is because we have the potential for two December hurricanes at the same time in the next six days. I'm going to show you that in just a second. In fact, looking at Wikipedia, you can see there's only been 10 confirmed hurricanes in the month of December. Some of them actually beginning in the month of November and surviving into the month of December. So technically one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six confirmed hurricanes since hurricane forecasting and recording began. So you could tell right away these are super rare storms to see. I'm not going to waste any time with this. Take a look at the GFS. We are set for December 2nd. We got some significant weather coming to the northeast in a couple days. But take a look at this. You're going to see two storms coming off the east coast of the U.S. And at the same time, you're going to see two different hurricanes at the same exact time but take a look at the northeast of the united states as we move into december 6th and december 7th we have one popping up right here you're going to see turn into a significant sized hurricane focus more on the middle you're going to see about 958 millibars in pressure that would be a strong category three we got 956 starting right there and now check this out you'll see the other one right behind it so by december 11th which is nine days away there's still time for change but still most models are showing the same exact thing a 955 millibar storm storm, a very wide storm with a compact center, and then a 968 millibar storm back to back at the same exact time. And then as we move forward, you see almost a Fujiwara effect. That's when two storms get close enough to each other that one or the other begins to morph into that storm, basically taking it over. And that's why you see this giant wind field spanning hundreds of miles with a 966 millibar center. If measured on the Sapphire Simpson scale, that would be a high grade category two. But before that, we saw the 956 millibars. That's a category three which as we showed would be two storms at the same exact time i'll go ahead and show you this again let's back this up and you can see right away 956 millibars that's a category three as we move forward you're going to notice this storm goes into a 959 and then a 968 behind it so we could very well be seeing a category three and a category two in the atlantic ocean at the same time if these conditions stay as is now very quickly i want you guys to be careful because when you do a google search for december hurricanes there's a website that's called Called hypothetical hurricanes and what this site does is it predicts into the future and it comes up with hurricanes with names dates storm paths everything you would see from an actual hurricane and a lot of people get fooled by this because these are not real as you can see when you look up December hurricanes this pops up the great Christmas hurricane of 2015 I've actually had people send this to me saying hey have you ever heard about this storm and no I haven't because it never took place this is a made-up hurricane that was posted by this website as if this hurricane had taken place you can kind of of figured out by this right here it says a category six which we don't have our sapphire simpson scale only goes up to category five so that right there should tell you that this storm never took place and again just look for this title right here hypothetical hurricane you'll see it at the top left of every one of these fabricated hurricanes now, just for fun, let's look at some other off-season hurricanes we've had. We've had a couple in January. In fact, two Category 1 storms in the month of January. One in 1938, but one also in 2016, so not too long ago. And then as we move into late winter and early spring, we don't see as many hurricanes. A lot of tropical depressions, a lot of tropical storms, except for March of 1908. We had a Category 2 storm reaching 100 miles an hour near the Lesser Antilles Islands, which is that strip of islands right here just east and southeast of Puerto Rico. So although these storms are possible, they are not common. So to see two of these at the same time in the month of December is obviously super rare in itself. Now, once again, we are about eight, nine days away, but don't be surprised if over the next two to three days, once these begin to actually form, that's interesting right there. They're both 964 at the same exact time. But take a look at this. If you don't know what this chart is, this is our five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. This lets us know what's going to happen into the near future, more specifically into the next five days. So if the next two days pass and we don't get much of a storm change you're going to see one possibly two basically cones of uncertainty or a certain percentage laid out for how likely they think these storms are actually going to form so we got to keep an eye on that as well as keeping an eye on the gfs and the canadian model too is also showing both of these storms all right my friends short video today i'm actually traveling to canada so i will be reporting from there tomorrow morning or later on this evening whichever is more convenient and i will see you all then shout out to canada i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye stop
right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. Bye.